Well, very unlike Jacques Cullis. Not a good shot. Cullis attempted to go over the top, over the bowler's head, but he mishit that. Didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball. It perhaps wasn't full enough either. And a very simple catch there to Mohamed Ashraful at mid on. So disappointment for Cullis. The fourth wicket goes down. South Africa now 352 for four. Jacques Callis looks to use his feet. Once they it over the offside, he manages to get a big inside edge. And uh, the fact that they've kept the field in has caused this problem. Jacques Callis out for 16. Well, that's a poor stroke. It has to be said. Abe de Villiers has just come to the crease. A little bit of pressure put on him and impatience. So he'll be disappointed with that. Yeah, he's not going to be happy with himself. Having a little bite of his helmet there. Nice flight. He's beaten all ends up. Well, that confirms the edge. Sneko, so he's caught behind first and then stumped. It's gone straight on with the arm. Boucher playing for the spin. Six down now, South Africa. They want to get into them. Well, Mark Boucher here goes back onto his stumps and we're probably waiting for the ball to turn. Maybe just a fraction goes, goes through the inside and clips the top of the stumps. Wow, Mark Boucher has to go. He's gone for 15. It's 4.04 for six. It's up in the air, a long way up in the air. Mohamed Ashraf will after it, and he takes the catch. Sakib Al Hassan gets another wicket. Morne Morkel gone. Well, that is the uh, sixth wicket for the Bangladeshis today. And again, he's backing the shot. That's his uh, bailout shot. And it's gone straight up. And I've got to say, I didn't give the captain a price here. I thought it was going to go away from him. That's great concentration. Keeps his head nice and still. And uh, Morno Morkel has to go for eight. It's uh, 4.20 now for seven. Is it going to be out? Yes, that's a beautiful catch. Really good catch. Looking to go against the spin. That big shot that Alan Donald was talking about went for it. And an outside edge means that South Africa are eight down. The little man has spoken. He's won that battle. But uh, I can tell you that's a fine catch. This is a very good catch again. Had to dive. Oh, he's probably made it a bit more dramatic I suppose but uh, that's out Stain goes for one it's 427 for eight ah! oh that might be out that just might be out no it isn't Ian Gould motionless just looks so good from behind here just have to see where it pitched because it certainly looked good like uh, Robin Jackman said Didn't turn, so probably just missed leg stump. It pitched online, all right. Opportunity, a very sharp one. Jacques Cullis looking to play on the leg side, just getting a leading edge. Bowled in. Through the gate and hit the middle stump. Off stump, I beg your pardon. Does it matter? Looked like a tremendous delivery. Comes in with the arm. Well, it didn't turn. I thought it might have turned. Need off stump, but it didn't. So Jacques Callas will be disappointed with that. Just went on straight with the arm, hit the pad onto the stump. So Callas toiled. He's gone for 24, 112 for three. Ah! Big shout. Huge shout. It looked to have missed it. It looks like it, it, it sounded like it hit the ground. Yeah, definitely a wonderful delivery. 
perfect through there and he's just uh, stubbed his bat into the ground then he's walked he's walked and i think he's walked for the catch there's a big shout that went out for lbw first another good delivery and uh, that one's that just slid on to the pad and can't see it very clearly from that angle but i think it's clipped the back of the bat and a solid little catch there from uh, silly point so hashim amla is out he goes after really really good innings of 71 South Africa now 134 for four go on go on he's down the wicket and Shakib Al Hassan he's got two in and over he's on fire for Bangladesh South Africa five down A.B. De Villiers wanting to be very attacking down the wicket. Spin and bounce from Shakib. And a very good stumping. Long way out. Gone off the face of the bat. That turned and bounced a little bit. And Boucher almost sort of didn't offer a shot in the end. And the ball just hit the middle of the bat and went straight to silly point. So this partnership has now come to an end, but what a wonderful one it's been, and a match-winning one, I would suggest, as Boucher makes his way off to the pavilion. Extraordinary dismissal. So Boucher gone for 117 then. The score is 405 for six. New batsman, Mone Mokel. He's average, not that good yet, but he can bat. All he needs to do is make sure he supports Ashford Prince here. But look at the bounce, the turn. That really something that Mark Boucher didn't expect there. South Africa just starting to dominate the morning session here. Got him. He's gone. Played it onto his stumps. Just looking to play a backward defensive shot. Morne Morco and he's just succeeded in getting the ball off the pad onto his stumps. So he's gone. Yes, he didn't get into a good position there. Ball it the inside of his right leg and then it went straight onto the stumps. And that's the end of Morne Morco. Two wickets in two balls. 405 for seven. Monde Zondeki is the new batsman. He's got an average of 20. He's played six test matches and has a 50 to his name, 59. Got that in England. Things have brightened up incredibly for Bangladesh. They've got two wickets in two balls. So Shakib Al Hassan is on a hat trick. Here he goes. Oh, goodness. Oh, the plonk forward, and it's turned a bit too much. Very well bowled here, sir. Shakib, give it a nice flight there. Look at the turn and the bounce. Again, I think he's got him. Yes, that's him. Nicely done. The first one, the one before, turned a bit too much. And then he got it right second time around. Misses the hat trick by a ball, but he gets his man.
This one drifted in, pitched on middle and off, and turned it, looked like it hit the glove. Very, very well bowled. South Africa, 405 for eight.